happy Friday everyone and welcome back to the new old vlog. It's your boy Smoothie here, but of course, I am getting ready to head out for the day for work. I got my boots on. Yep, that's right, my new hiking boots for our hike in June. And I'm ready to go, ready to start this Friday, and more importantly, ready to get it over so we can progress ahead till tomorrow morning and tomorrow's festivities and smoke in the alley. As you saw, all the wonderful meats we picked up yesterday in the vlog and I also did a meat haul video so I want to get that up of course before we actually go ahead and do uh, the smoke in the alley so look for that sometime tonight and that's it I'm heading to work and I will see you in a bit what's up everyone so here's the deal like I've been promising I broke myself away from all my fun work and stuff on this beautiful yet cold eve of spring snowstorm 2016 to take a little walk and just enjoy the nice weather and do a little vlogging out in the parking lot of our work and as I walk along this path it seems to just end here which is weird but never fear I can walk on the grass because I have my hiking boots on so anyway it is a nice day it is 12 a little after 12 so i just want to take a few minute break to get away from my desk get some fresh cool air and finish up the second half not even half two hours of my day and then do some major prepping tonight for the uh, smoke in the alley event we are having kinds of meat as you saw last night is going to be smoked on the grills in the middle of the snowstorm but we have a lot of prep work to do I have to move my grill across the alley or to the alley and then I need to I keep walking this way then I need to a lot of work still needs to be done tonight and so yeah it's definitely gonna be a busy 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 night so um, that's it that's the end of my two minute walk. I'm going to turn around here and not get hit. So I will check back in a bit. So I'm just on my way home from work on this partly sunny, or is it partly cloudy Friday afternoon? Partly, is it partly sunny or partly cloudy? I'm not sure. I guess it's whatever way you want to look at it. Do you want to look at it as the glass is half empty or full? I mean, I guess it's that same line of thinking. I choose to say it's partly sunny because I'd much rather have the sun than the clouds. But anyway, I'm excited. It is Friday. I'm excited the week, the work week is over and it's time to start putting in the heavy preparations for smoke in the alley tomorrow morning. Um, hoping and judging by the day today, I mean, it doesn't seem like tomorrow we're supposed to get snow. Like it shouldn't be snowing tomorrow, but they're calling for like three to five inches. I saw some places now, regardless, I don't think it's going to be anything that really lays or, or hangs around too long, but it's spring. I don't want snow. I don't want to be, be smoking in the alley in the snow. And also we're helping somebody move tomorrow as well. So I don't want to be, you know, I want their move to go as smooth as possible. Uh, no pun intended. So I'm just hoping that the weather changes overnight and I have to run tomorrow morning. I have a lot of stuff going on tomorrow and I don't know. Well, I know how I'm going to cram it in. It's going to get done no, no matter what. The running will get done unless, you know, barring it being really snowy out. But the running will get done. The smoking and the moving will get done. And most importantly, the eating will get done. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of this ride home. I'm going to pick up Casey from school. I'm uh, going to head out to get a few more items for Smoke in the Alley. And then we're going to call the night and start the preparation. Not call the night in terms of the vlog, but start the preparations. You know what I mean. And I'll see you in a So it's that time of day again where I drive to Aldi's because I can't get enough of the place. I need to just pick up two more pizzas for um, tonight's dinner. They're quick and easy. They're very inexpensive, and that's what we had for dinner last night. And uh, huge shout out to Tom because I, in my infinite wisdom, never had thought of this, and I, I think other people do this too. But it was like it was a first for me. 
putting the seasoning on the pizza before you bake it, like the garlic and the, the, the Italian seasoning, it makes a world of difference. And the one we cooked up last night tasted darn near like a pizzeria style one. So I'm going to get two more of those bad boys for dinner tonight since it's Friday and we have all this prepping to do. I still got to get the meat haul video uploaded. And that's it. And then hopefully just get some quiet time with... The family, maybe, maybe watch Star Wars, The Force Awakens again. Uh, chances are probably not, but, and I only say that because I know Holly probably won't want to watch it again. Maybe Casey will. We'll see. But, so yeah, I'm going to get meats now, so I'll see you in a bit. Scratch that. We got the meats last night. I'm going to get the pizzas now, so this time I'll see you in a bit. So that worked out beneficial-like. We, we, uh, I had to stop at... Home Depot to I was wanted to pick up some like daylight or softer bulbs for when I do recordings in the uh, studio something not so yellowish uh, just to try it out and see and they had we were just talking about this last night Tom Doug and I uh, that the when Home Depot has the, the beginning of the season like charcoal sale so I was able to score four bags of well, four packs of or four two packs of 18 pound charcoal nine nine bucks can't uh beat that so that'll come in handy not only for smoking the alley tomorrow but for when we uh have the pig roast in the um summer so because we definitely got to stock up on it i just put the word out so we'll probably be loading up on that tonight so that's all i always love sales sales are fun so we'll see in a bit. Okay, so the only thing that I really don't like about all these is the um, fact that they're, and maybe this isn't true for all of the stores, but there's only ever like one or two registers open. And it's no fault of their own, um, but it just seems like it's always a backup on the registers. But other than that, I mean, it's for not name brand stuff. It tastes super and the prices are great, so. All these is my store for the most part. So that's all I gotta say about that. We'll see in a bit. So we just moved everything for uh, the smokers are all over at Tom's and all ready for smoking the alley. And he informed me now that he heard, or it's supposed to be five to eight inches tomorrow. That is just freaking crazy. You know, let it be five to eight inches. That's fine. So long as it's um over with by the afternoon and it doesn't interfere too much with what we have going on so getting a few last things here um, picking up I'm making coleslaw as our side so uh, that's it and in a minute we'll be home rubbing the meat so we'll see what's up everyone as I promised as I just stated back here in the kitchen I'm getting ready to rub give the chicken a good rub down um, to let this sit overnight so I'm gonna make the coleslaw tomorrow morning. We got up a little earlier before my run and whip together the dressing. It's just a matter of putting the dressing together and uh, tossing it all around. So that shouldn't take too long in the morning because uh, I just want to get this rubbed and want to watch a movie um, with Holly. And we keep trying to watch movies and I keep falling asleep and, and I think she's afraid the same for tonight so I'm not gonna let that happen I'm drinking a, a cherry vanilla Pepsi chickeny um, so we'll see how that goes but as far as the rubbing goes I, I will rub this down I'll give you a, a sneak peek of what it looks like when it's coated like you can see clearly it's very plain and gross and salmonality you know the word um, right now but I'm going to get it all rubbed up I'll come back show you what the final outcome is and then I'm going to sign off for the night so um, you'll want to come back for this so <clears throat> here's the final product ladies and gentlemen the nicely rubbed with the land is Cajun season chicken leg quarters. I don't know how well that's picking up on the camera here, but these are going to be 
delicious. I'm going to seal them up nice and tight. I just hope I have a place to put them in the fridge this evening. Sorry. But I'm ready to eat them. It's just a shame it's going to be five to eight inches of snow or something tomorrow. If it snows, it snows. It is what it is. We'll be nice and warm by the smokers. We'll have three of them going. Uh, if you watched the vlog last night or checked out the Epic Meat Hall, which I definitely suggest you check out the Epic Meat Hall video if you haven't already yet. Um, we'll have three smokers going with chicken, the ribs, and the pork butt. So it's just going to be a day full of eating. And what a better way to, to pass through a snow day with family and friends gathered in a garage to eat meat, stand by smokers, and crack open a fire, pl fire pit and make s'mores. So um, I got to just put this all away and go get ready for bed because I do have to get up early to make the coleslaw and I'm running so uh, it's, it's definitely going to be a long day but a well worth it day and with that said and with all that said I want to say have a good night everyone take care God bless and stay smooth and make sure you definitely tune in tomorrow for the festivities because I'll be vlogging all day and we'll have a nice video by the end of the day so maybe it'll be a snowy vlog maybe it won't be maybe I'll get my wish and my wishful thinking and it'll be tropical like who knows we'll have to see what tomorrow brings so we'll see you in the morrow